Yo guys, welcome back to Assyria. Yes, we actually made some good progress in this war in the last part. We took Gondar and uh, Lalabella as well. Basically all of their units just seem to be over here, so they've kind of left the <laughs> actual good cities in their empire undefended here. I don't know if they're at war with Attila as well, they're not. So just at war with us, but they're seriously trying to get into this city, which uh, is very, very well defended, so not really happening for them. And uh, Attila's actually becoming a little bit worrying over here, though I think we can deal with it, and we can peace out of them if we want to. I'd like to try and take Haran. Um, probably just take it once, because it would be hard to hold on to, because they'll have a load of land units. But... Um, yeah, if we just took it once and then um, we could just kind of get rid of like the, it would get rid of the uh, arsenal and the castle and the walls and stuff and leave it weaker for next time. And we'll get the bonus for conquering the city. And yeah, we'll keep pushing forward here since uh, they don't have many units over here and we've got quite a few field guns now. Also, I've got some spare iron. I'll buy some more field guns here next turn. I had to inquisitor it because uh, it flipped to neutral, which was annoying. But, um, yeah, that's okay. I can send that guy somewhere. Anyway, though, um, yeah, we got all the boats over here, so we're going to crack on with them and see if we can get them over to the capital as well. We're all kind of converging on Ethiopia right now. Would be great to get some more tech steals. They do have corporations, so if we can steal two techs, um, we should be able to get it. Because I think that's all they have. I think they have the same as us and then those two. So we are catching up with them, and we've almost got a uh, combustion for ourselves, which is a pretty nice one. Land ships are a big upgrade on the Lancers, and um, oil monopoly gives extra experience for combat to help our units get even more levels, so that's lovely. Okay, um, do I do this attack? Yeah, probably. Might as well just get in here now. Um, we're able to replace boats and stuff if we lose them. And hopefully we can bring some boats through here next turn also. That would be lovely. Alright, these guys should be ready 
to do some attacking next turn. You're coming back here, cool. I guess I'll use him here at some point. Wow, we got a lot of great generals about. Cool. Yeah, I'll spend some faith next turn uh, on some field guns. I want to buy them here, although... Maybe that's pointless. Maybe I should be buying them in even other places than that. Because we want to help the borders grow in places that we can still have border growths. To be honest, is the way I've been looking at it. Actually, we're unhappy anyway, so shouldn't do it right now. Wow, we didn't even lose any of the boats. That is rather nice. Oh, I need to fucking kill this guy. Okay, what I'll have to do is push through here and then attack them from this side. I think we can kill them all off, to be honest, or most of them at least. Okay, um, yeah, Siege Tower is coming, so we can smash this city pretty well next turn. Um, I guess I kind of need the other Siege Tower over here as well, but I am using it over here.
All right. Um, yeah, I guess Attila is doing a decent job of attacking here. He's actually got quite a few field guns. We've basically completely crippled the um, army composition of Ethiopia, which is really nice. Uh, killed so many of their field guns. Like every time they brought a field gun out, we killed it basically. So that's why they're kind of struggling to actually do like useful things. I guess we just heal them all there. It's hard to get through. But uh, we got the siege tower over here, so we can use it next turn. I feel like it's probably better to have it over here, because we want to be doing melee attacks, and you definitely want to have the higher combat strength for melee attacks. Because you do more damage and take less damage. Okie dokie. Um... Yep, he's ready to go forward. Oh, it still counts as unhappy. What? Really? That's annoying. Uh, yeah. It still counts as an unhappy city for some reason. Let's have some fucking buildings, to be honest. Um, factories are probably better than seaports at this point. Guess I should build that there. Um, okay, let's get some field guns there and there. Can build a load more here next turn. This guy. I guess I will send up there. We shouldn't need any more down here. I feel like range is just better than um, logistics, though we're not far away from artillery, at which point logistics does become quite good. Because you get the three range anyway. But really, we just want them to kill cities anyway, so... Cool. Uh, do you know what? I can actually heal this guy. Because the Vanguard promotion allows you to heal outside um, friendly territory. Let's do that now. This was going to Delhi. I guess I can send it to there. Oh yeah, we can actually get archaeologists now as well. I think we got archaeology quite recently. I guess it was last turn. Um, I didn't really look to see how many of them we have. Definitely have a couple, but we got other stuff to build right now anyway. Thank you. 
This guy's doing a pretty good job of tanking. I was worried about that uh, hussar they had, but I guess they retreated him. Alright, let's do some smacking over here. Alright, cool. Should we have to finish that off next turn then? Which will be rather nice. Alright, um, yeah, they don't seem to have much of a fleet, so I guess it's just a matter of time before we can take possibly even both of these cities. And obviously we'll try and push in here as well.
Okay, nice. Um, yeah, good progress everywhere, to be honest. This area is somewhat cleaned out, I think. A couple of field guns to take out, but uh, we need to get through the front line before we can really do that. Um, yeah, still loads of units over here, but it's cool. And should be able to conquer some more cities. Okay, we're unhappy though, that's not great. Let's try and help with that. Unhappiness will not be a problem at some point, but uh, just is for a little bit. Um, and also money we don't have a huge amount of right now, but we will have a lot of that in the future as well. I believe. I think I... Yeah, I can do that. To not be unhappy. Okay, we can improve this. To give us some more iron so we can buy some more field guns. Because we're not far away from going into a new era, so I think stuff is about to get more expensive. So we should buy what we want right now. I mean, I need some more infantry, but I think I'm going to wait until uh, Foreign Legions and buy a load of those, I think. Because I think we will have money, just in a little bit. Basically, once we get corporations kind of everything is sorted at that point. Are there more cities to conquer? I mean, we could go around here. We have to think about what we want to do next, I guess. Ah, I got a great scientist. Wow, so I could get there right now. Which means I should buy all the units I want right now. I would love this border to grow there. I mean, I probably need some Gatling guns here. Not bad. I'm sure we'll be able to use these guys to defend somehow. And yeah, I'm trying to get the culture for the next border growth because I really want that citrus. <laughs> this is a bit of a pathetic amount. Uh, Probably still worth using. Any man who can drive safely while kissing a pretty girl is simply not giving the kiss the attention it deserves. And here we are. I believe that, yeah, that puts the cost of everything up a bit. Cool. Um, where's on what oil then? Is that it? Okay. Jesus, that is <laughs> no fucking oil, dude. Okay, we can get some there as well. I can just great general if we don't get that citrus anyway. Great general on the oil, because we want that either way. Am I close to getting some? 
I mean, I wanted the Monopoly on the oil because you get the plus two experience from combat. It's really good. I have not had a lot of strategics this game. That is for damn sure. Alright, I need a spy in um, Vatican City. I want to keep that alliance. This guy isn't doing anything. Just try and steal some great works, I think. Next research, I think I'll go for replaceable parts. Yeah, hopefully we should be able to steal corporations, so don't need to research that stuff. to do with all my units. Taking your city too. Don't you worry about that. Should probably be able to get out of here, otherwise, could be kind of bad. Um, well, let's annex it, though I probably will raise it. I mean, we can hold on to it. Honestly, without too much problem. I mean, I'd rather just keep it, but I might have to raise it, I'm not sure. Right, this city is actually kind of okay. Let's buy that. And I should get an Inquisitor as well to send up there, to be honest. Alright, now I'm unhappy again. I need to find somewhere I have urbanization. Maybe over here? Yes. Cool.
Okay. Um, to be honest, I should just use the flipping ironclads. I shouldn't even bother with these guys because they just kind of get in the way. But yeah, we should be able to take uh, both cities next turn. No, no, not next turn, but we'll take one next turn. And... Probably won't be able to take the other one. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, seems like we might lose a unit down here. Not too much I can do about that though. Unfortunately... Um, let's just keep him on the road, I guess. Because we can move forward next turn. These guys, or I could bring them over here as well. Maybe that would be smart. Yeah, let's just fucking build shit. Was I... Yeah, let's just get like all the science and culture and stuff. And factories too, of course. We have um, the treasure fleet coming up, so I want to be highest production by then, which we are getting close to. A couple more factories, and uh, that should be enough to make that a reality. I wanted to buy them, but didn't have the money, so I missed out on quite a few of them. Alright, uh, let's keep buying some units here. Alright, 
That would give us 180, I guess... Hmm, I could wait. The problem is I'm about to be unhappy when I conquer more cities, so yeah, let's just do it now. Very nice. Like I said, we're just trying to get this border to grow so I don't have to great general here. But maybe it's worth doing anyway. How much oil is there in the world? I think you can see it on this menu. There's 91 apparently, wow. We do not have much of it. We did get... We have five. Hmm. Yeah, they beat us to it by a couple of turns, but we've caught up a lot. We were way behind them before. I actually probably can hold on to this city. Which would be nice. Okay, um, let's buy another unit over here. Could get a land ship, you know. I was kind of thinking of a cavalry because might as well have a medic over here. Nice. Alright, real close to that. Let's crack some of these cities open then.
Boom. All right. We got Parthen on here. Cool. The nation that. Yeah, we got fertilizer. And this should give us corporations. We can get the next policy as well. Large amount of gold when you conquer a city and production bonuses for cities with a courthouse. And we get the finisher, which is iron size promotion on all of the boats. And air units give defense and needs reduction. And we can buy great admirals if we desire to do that. Maybe I could do that here. How close are we? I think I'd rather just buy a unit. Just get it next turn. Nice. Because, uh... We should be about to... Oh, why did... That was dumb. Uh, better to go drill on tanks at this point because um, they get quite high movement and yeah you can get in you can get a blip straight away and then they just smash everything um, and they can smash more than one thing per turn so I just need that border because hopefully we should be able to get corporations and then I just need one citrus for that monopoly that we should get here. So that will be rather nice. Okay, let's actually get this city then. Wow, Globe Theatre, Notre Dame, and Taj Mahal in here. They did build a lot of wonders, but uh, it seems like they were spread out amongst all of their cities. Okay, I gotta try and get through these units. Otherwise, more of my units are gonna die. That would be very sad. Okay, that should be safe. Um, that's about as good as I can do there. Okay, let's get stuck into the city.
All right, cool. Yeah, we should just use the ironclads. Um, these guys are just pointless getting in the way right now, to be honest. Wow, we are majorly rich, though. And we're actually ahead of Ethiopia in tech. Which is weird, but kind of alright, because we'll get a massive tech boost for taking the city then, since it's got a high population. And uh, if they do get any more techs, then we can just conquer some more of their cities to um, get them from them as well. Okay, let's uh, build stuff here. I'm out of coal for the moment. Agribusinesses will be nice. Um, I don't really know what I want to do in my units next. Do I just keep <laughs> conquering more cities? I mean, I guess we have to deal with Mongolia at some point, don't we? Big, big war with Mongolia and Venice. So I suppose that's what I should set up for. I guess I won't upgrade um, the boats yet because I can take that cheaper upgrade uh, cost of units thing. Get them all much, much cheaper. Sounds rather nice. So we'll just kind of mill around with these guys for the moment. Maybe I'll start sending them up there. Cool. All right, let's uh, go around buying some stuff. So we're quite rich. I mean, we definitely want to buy these factories, to be honest. Go on then. Cool. What? He killed my field gun. That's crazy. That is crazy. Oh, wow, this guy's taken serious damage too. I guess I should just take that. How did he take that much damage? Uh, Gatling gun. Okay. Well, well, well. Dude, I didn't even have a fucking great general in range of that guy. I have so many great generals, dude. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Alright, um, there ain't much to discuss here really, like maybe order would be reasonable, but we should definitely go autocracy. It's just much better. Um, so there's three really good policies we could pick first. Number one of them is elite forces. 
uh, number two of them is a military industrial complex and number three of them is uh, Laban's realm did I get this border growth dude <laughs> oh my god how does that happen on the exact turn I feel like that happens way more often than it should we were just about to get that okay well I kind of have to go for Laban's realm then to be honest which is a little bit unfortunate with building the corporation so I, I kind of have to go Laban's realm and use him here oh I mean any of these squares but this one gets the most so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so I believe we're gonna get about thirteen times two hundred which is two thousand six hundred production so yes would be good to not waste much of it but we kind of just are I think I mean a land ship I guess we could do that um let's actually take the policy first I mean, not really, but if a war happens, I won't cry about it. A bit more oil. Um, yeah, so... Okay, we've got 2,400. So this will be fine, actually. We won't lose any overflow. And then I can put it straight into this. don't know how we would have 800 in that. That doesn't. Make sense to me, because when I switched over to the land ship, because it was something new, we started from zero and then got 2,400. I don't know how we would have 800 in. This, I guess I'll build it for a turn just to keep that 800 uh, I feel like we're going to lose it that is weird that doesn't make sense from what I understand of overflow and stuff um, yeah we should be able to put the overflow into building it I want the food corporation as soon as possible because that will completely sort out our happiness and not only will it sort out the happiness, but it will also mean that we can grow our cities and then we will get this 25 gold every time a citizen is born. That will completely sort out any money issues that we still have, though money is uh, quite reasonable now anyway. So that is the way I see it.
Liar, Cool, we can even peace out with Attila, which I might well do. Got nothing to really gain from this war anymore. Uh, if I wanna... <sighs> okay, they're eventually battered with, uh, Eve, with uh, Mongolia. Might not be so bad, I mean, we could peace out. We could just war them again move all of our land units over here once we're done with Ethiopia if we do choose to attack Mongolia next um, yeah I probably should do that just in case they nearly kill that city and then it gets annoying trying to get them out of the war Get some money too. Some wine. I don't think we have wine. Sure, let's uh, get some of that. Well, actually, we'll have wine, won't we? Because there's wine around some of these places. There is no wine. Okay, let's just take it then. Why won't you capitulate to me, man? Not cool. So many resources up there, here though. Uh, we can benefit quite a bit from this. Get some more workers. And alright, let's crack on down here then. Okay, I reckon we can get that next turn.
Right, nice. What are we building? Um, let's go for museums. Well, let's have one of them. Okay, workshops. Cool. Alright, a lot of stuff to be repaired and built around here. We shall do that. Ah, this guy I should use. And yeah, these guys I guess we'll get ready to send them through. Nothing else to really be done with them. The city's done, cool. Alright, we'll convert them back to Zoroastrian next. Nice, we're up to top manufactured goods as well. That is very good news. Okay, I don't know what to do with these guys. Yep, we want the oil wells, that's for sure. Sure up the defences over there. Cool. Alright, um Let's take out this uh Ethiopian capital then. to buy anything right now. Shit, missed out on some of them. Should have done that before, obviously. Nothing died though. Good news. And we have now got a Blitz guy with Vanguard. Which is obviously what I've been wanting this whole goddamn time. Okay. Seventy-seven combat strength is quite a lot, though. So, still is taking a couple of attacks. Let's do it though. Alright, Borobudur. Good. 
Cathedral of St. Basil, Summer Palace, and University of Sankor. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Alright, I don't know what was going on with that plus 800. That seems like a bug of some sort. I feel like if I'd put one turn into this, I could have got the 800 and then I could have still fin then I could have done the land ship next turn with the bonus because the production we used got from the citadel had already gone into the uh, land ship because that's just how it works like it just instantly goes into it so then I could have still built the land ship with the overflow like got the overflow from that and then put that back into this we could have had it done in like one turn I'll just buy it anyway though. We'll have it in two turns. Wow well, though, we actually got the Ethiopian capital. I mean, uh, they were really dumb with their units. That was kind of what made it possible. The fact that they just like had them all over here and didn't really defend over here properly. Though Obviously, we just wiped out their fleet, so they couldn't do much against the boats anyway. But yeah, they'll they'll research another tech soon, probably. So we might be able to still get a free tech off them, assuming that they don't go for replaceable parts. Um, if they go for electricity or biology, we might be able to steal that off them. Which would still be quite useful. Um... Yeah, big yields for conquering that city. Big, big yields. And it is the holy city for this. So that's cool as well, I guess. Let's have some of them. Very, very nice though. Yeah, what I'll probably do is I will start setting up for a war with Mongolia next. Um, I mean, that's kind of the only thing to do. I will have to fight Attila again, but if we have like uh, artillery, machine guns and stuff, that should make our life, our life way, way easier in terms of uh, taking out Attila. Like, we should just be able to smash through him with the units. And we can use some great generals as well, obviously. To make it a bit quicker to get in there. So that should work. And uh, Poland will be a nice target as well. And we can send all the boats up to Venice. And smash him down also for some also very nice yields. So, yeah... Six turns until the treasure fleet, we should be able to win that. Wow, he actually proposed that even though it's not his... Weird. That almost never happens, but I guess he just didn't want any of the other proposals. Cool. Scholars in Residence will actually be annoying, because we're going to be a uh, tech leader now, aren't we? So that's going to drag everyone along with us and uh the one thing mongolia really needs is tech like they're doing well in every other way they just don't have as good tech as us so if they can get that through then uh it would actually help them quite a lot we'll have to try and nail it strategics feels much better now though i'm guessing we actually got some of the yeah we got iron strategic monopoly we're actually quite close to getting the coal one horses and we definitely want that oil one too. Wow. Haran is this one. Jesus. All the strategics around this city, man. Iron, coal, loads of oil. Madness. And 
we will keep taking the policies we got military industrial complex and elite forces to take maybe i don't even need military industrial complex right now you know you can also take futurism and start trying to do the tourism stuff it's probably a bit late for that though probably we'd be better off just going for a fucking science victory if we didn't want to do domination and then there's some nice tier two ones as well uh commerce reader commerce readers we get another promotion on our boats as well as oil and coal we could do third alternative if we need help with the monopolies um martial spirit is useful lightning warfare is useful and then um the airports with the plus production for building aircraft is really nice especially once you get pentagon and yeah once we get elite forces we're going to be able to build units which are straight up to level six so that means straight logistics uh ranged boats or you know logistics field guns with another promotion just straight out from being built or purchased or whatever and we can buy some foreign legions soon as well which are actually five combat strength better than riflemen so quite a bit and they get a foreign lands bonus so they will be our infantry from now on should be good hell yeah though feel like this should be a win now hopefully and yeah i'll see you guys soon for the next part